I really stop that. That's mine. The game of cones. <laughs> this one up here. And I'm Kirby. And today we're at Wanderlust Creamery, an ice cream shop that creates flavors inspired by places around the world. And in anticipation for the final season, they are doing Game of Thrones flavored ice cream. So we are gonna go try them. Flavor of ice and fire. It has dragon fruit, blood orange, and ancho chili. There's oh. really a, wow, there's a kit. It's very reminiscent of Mexican candy. Yeah, you can really taste the chilies. It's like refreshing, but spicy. Yeah, spicy like some of the seeds in uh, Game of Thrones. Very true. Have you seen those the Rocky guys? a marscapone ice cream mixed with a jam made of blackberry wine and forest berries. Look how pretty it is. Wow. It's so creepy. That's so good. I feel like uh, George R. R. Martin. You kill all of it. It is an oatmeal ice cream with a honey caramel and single malt scotch. It can taste like one of those oatmeal cookies you would get with your lunch. You know, with the, with the icing on top? This makes me think of when the characters in Game of Thrones are in taverns eating their breakfast, but in ice cream form. Oh. Sure. It's made from Coakley Co and actual pink poppy flowers infused with actual poppy seeds. It's kind of like rose flavor, like it's floral. It kind of tastes like a Smarty. Yeah. We got a vegan and dairy free option now. And it is a chocolate sorbet and it actually has Russian Imperial Stout beer mixed into it. This one tastes like a super dark chocolate, which I love. I love being a good dark chocolate. It's not super sweet. It's not super sweet, but it is super rich, which I love. Yeah. It's really good. I wouldn't guess that this was dairy free. This is like the perfect thing to get. Yeah, I like you can't pick a flavor. Just get it all. <laughs> and candy plums. Yes. If you make that incredibly fast. <laughs> if you like strawberry, I'm like this. I have to just rely on the aftertaste because I inhaled it. Yeah. <laughs> Lemon verbena flavored ice cream with candied roses and candied bergamot. And this one is inspired from High Garden. It is. Look at all that yeah, laurel. It has like actual petals of things in it. which is really refreshing. I really, stop that, that's mine! The game of cones. <laughs> You've lost it. Don't touch my ice cream. <laughs> For the final one, we're taking it on the road with us and uh, coincidentally, it's called Doth Rocky Road. It's pretty much a campfire rocky road with alderwood smoked sea salt and it's delicious. Yeah. What a great day. Mm. <laughs> no 